Hey YouTubers, uh, we finally made it back to made it to Petalburg City. Um, recording my sixth video here. Um, we're gonna explore around Petalburg for a second and see what trouble we can get into. And um, so yeah, thanks for returning. So here's Petalburg for those of you who have visited before. We have youngsters. So this is the Pokemon Trainer School. If I enroll in this school, do you think? I'll be able to catch rare Pokemon easily, too? No. So, anywho, uh, we're just going to explore around a bit. Uh, we got told by May that there was a Pokemon gym here. So, Roxanne is the gym leader. She's the rock-loving honor student. So, we'll check it out. Oh look, there she is. Hello. You must be a new challenger. I am Roxanne, the Rustboro City Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I may be a, may apply in battle all that I have learned at the Pokemon Trainer's School. If you defeat me in a Pokemon battle, I'll present you with a gym badge as proof of your strength as a trainer. Please take up the challenge. I look forward to seeing you as a challenger. Until then, farewell. And so, we'll come back here in a minute, but we're just going to explore around Petalburg, and then we are, uh, Rustboro, sorry, and then we are going to do our, our gym challenge. Once you get a shiny gym badge in your hand, that's when you really start to feel like a trainer. So anyways, um, so here's the, the Devon Corporation. They're always getting us in trouble. Uh, some people's houses. The guy with the bald head. We have some exits to other routes. So, so yeah, we have the uh, down here. We have just some more city. So yeah, so let's uh, get ourselves some potions and. See what this guy has to say. Excuse me, trainer over there. Do you have a minute? Do you know sometimes moves are too strong to catch a Pokemon? You end up making a Pokemon faint even when you don't want to. For su such a common problem, use this. False swipe, which was nice. For those of you who don't know, false swipe is a move that when you use it, it'll never let a Pokemon go below one hit point. And so, no matter how many times it's used on the opposing Pokemon, it won't cause the Pokemon to faint. I'm offering it for free right now. This is a limited time promotion. Alright, cool. Thanks, guy. Uh, yeah, let's get ourselves some more potions. We currently... Oh, we have nine. We don't need any right now. No thanks. So, here we are. We are going to go ahead and go... We're just... There's not much more to this city. It seems big compared to the other two towns that we visited, but it's really not that big. So, um, we're going to go ahead and try and take on the gym, and hopefully we don't fail. So, let's see what Suspenders Man says. Yo, how's it going? Listen, my friend, would you like to become the champion? I'm no trainer, not me, but I sure can give you winning advice. That's settled then. We'll aim for the Pokemon Championship together. It's your job as a trainer to collect gym badges, am I right? But gym leaders aren't pushovers. And that's where I come in. I'm here to provide expert advice. Roxanne, the gym leader here, is a user of Rock-type Pokemon. The Rock-type is a very durable, but it can't stand Water-type and Grass-type moves. Come see me afterward if you beat the gym leader. Well, go for it. So, so typically, if you're unfamiliar with the Pokemon um, setup, typically in the gym, there are trainers you fight before you meet up with the gym leader. Um, we're just going to try and rock the house, no pun intended, with Humbles. Use the water type attacks to kind of um, get ourselves through. For those of you that are going to this gym for the first time, um, effective move sets uh, will be... 
Let's see, so fighting is effective, ground is effective, so it's um, super effective, as, as well as fighting. Uh, steel is super effective, water is super effective, and grass is super effective. If you don't want to struggle, try to refrain from using normal, flying, poison, or even fire type moves because they're weak against rock type Pokemon. So, and for rock moves, um, rock moves are going to be strong against your flying Pokemon, they're going to be strong against your bug Pokemon, your fire Pokemon, uh, they're also going to be strong against any ice Pokemon that you may have, maybe you got it through Wonder Trade or something. Um, it will do um, less damage if you have a Pokemon that's a fighting Pokemon or a ground Pokemon um, or a steel Pokemon. So just keep that in mind as you're going through. So we're going to use Humbles because Humbles is going to be our our uh, our crutch. It's going to clinch the win for us. Don't take us gym trainers lightly. I'll show you why we're better. Youngster Josh. Got a Geo Dude. So, Geo Dude is one of our Generation 1 Pokemon, for those of you that do not know. Um, never sure, but Geo Dude is, is fun. It's, um,. It's been, if you guys want a trivia point that you guys, if you didn't know, it has been in every uh, single, so, region that's been, like, supposedly in Japan. So, Geodude and all of its evolutions have been in, in every single national decks um, for all of those uh, Japan-centric um, regions. And it's up until Generation... Uh, six, it's been used by all of the gym leaders who specialize in the rock type. Um, Generation 2, however, Brock doesn't use the Geodude um, in Generation 2 or Generation 4, like he did in 1 and 3, um, but he uses Graveler. <coughs> so anyways, um, this thanks to Bulbapedia for that information. Um, so if you guys are interested, Bulbapedia.bulbagarden.net. Uh, you look up any Pokemon stuff that you want to know. So anyways, let's go with this battle. So, Geodude, let's take it out. I'm gonna water gun that fool. Anyways, I'll, I'll like to give you random trivia, things that either I know or things that I've found online as we play. I won't always do it, because I won't always remember and I don't want the videos to be super long. But, I will do it as often as I can. Alright, thanks for the experience share. Now we have Wanda who's up to 11, so that's our dust ox. And now we're getting another Geodude, and we're going to leave this mudkip in. Alrighty. Alright, so we should have made quick work of his team. Megan's now level 8, that's our Poochiana. Laurie is now 11, that's our Lotad. You were too good for me! Got some money for winning. Not very much, because apparently this kid isn't rich. So, there are ways like this where you can like go around and avoid um, like the gym trainers, so you don't have to battle them. But I like to battle all of them. I mean, what's the point? Like, why avoid battles? Your Pokemon don't get as strong as quickly. Youngster Tommy. This also has Geodude. And it's his only Pokemon, so it'll be probably a little bit stronger. Yeah, 10. Ah. Dirty. Alright. We're gonna mud slap it just for fun. 
if you guys didn't remember, ground types are also super effective against rock. Because I just said that a minute ago. Alright, Zool grew to 8. That's our Zigzagoon. Wow, you've got some potential. So, we got some more money from these poor kids. And so, yeah, we're gonna go fight this other trainer. So, girl trainer. I'll make you feel the power of the number two trainer at this school. Number two. Scary. Her name is Jojo. So maybe we should give her a southern accent, because her name is Jojo. Alrighty. Alright, Humbles, let's go. We're gonna use... Maybe just for fun, we'll use some mud slaps on this. Slap the Geodude around. Because not only will it be super effective, but it'll also lower its accuracy. Let's keep going. It'll be helpful as soon as Mudkip evolves to get that dual type of the water and ground. Like, yeah, we got two more levels before Mudkip evolves into Marsh Tom. Evolves at level 16. Wendy is now level 10, which means that she will evolve, which is going to be fun. Oh. $200 for winning. We beat Miss Georgia. Wendy is evolving with a shaggy something. It's not really hair. Is it silk? Silk cocoon. It's silk cocoon. There's our beautifly. All right. She wants to move gu learn Gust, so let's let her. We are going to also forget String Shot. Ta-da! Now Wendy knows Gust, which will be helpful with um, some of those pesky grass and grass type Pokemon and bug type Pokemon and flying type or not fight flying fighting type Pokemon now that we fought those two trainers now we are ready for Roxanne so Roxanne is quite the gym leader with her rock type Pokemon and her fossil in the background anybody know what Pokemon was in the background Comment below if you think you know. I knew you and your Pokemon would be able to get this far. Now, would you kindly demonstrate how you battle with your Pokemon? Hopefully we only have to show you one Pokemon. Because everybody else is super weak. Roxanne. Anybody ever try and do their hair like her? girls out there. I'd like to see it. Alright, here we go. Gym battle! Alright, we're gonna use some mud slaps. Super effective. Lowering accuracy. Rock Throw, which does a decent amount of damage, and lowers our speed, which is stupid. Yep, we avoided it. Thank you, Mud Slap. 
Alright, thank you, Mudslap. <coughs> so, I think other than this Geo dude, she's gonna have. I think she has a nose pass. So, if you wanna prepare for her Pokemon. Uh, her Geodude notes Tackle, Rock Tomb, and Defense Curl. And then her Nose Pass, which is level 14, so it's going to be the harder one, uh, notes Tackle, Harden, and Rock Tomb. So what I'll probably do is I'll use a fodder Pokemon, so just one of these random Pokemon in my team, as a shield for a minute while I heal up Humbles. Uh, I guess... Yeah, Solari's level 12. Wants to learn natural gift. So, sure, we'll... We will replace Growl with natural gift. We're gonna keep battling. And we are going to... Yep, there's her nose pass. Uh, we're going to use a potion to heal up Humbles. And so, so yeah, we got Humbles is using Harden, trying to scare us off. Uh, we're going to use our, our last of our ten uses of Mud Slap to hopefully lower this. Lower its accuracy, which will be helpful. And as a crit, so that's nice. And now we're going to water gun it. And our speed's a little bit slower from getting um, hit up with Geodude. All right, so water water gun's doing her pretty good. I think uh, I think her. Uh, nose passes ability is magnet pull, which is not sturdy like the Geodude was. So that's that'll be helpful because then we don't have to like do a killing blow twice. <clears throat> All right, so we made quick work of this uh, of this gym, which is nice. Um, there's only two trainers plus Roxanne and her two Pokemon, so uh, that was helpful. And Humbles is now level 15, one level away from evolving. Uh, Wanda is now level 12, that's our Dust Ox. And she wants to learn Confusion, so let's, let's teach her Confusion. Uh, let's get rid of Tackle for now. So we're going to have Confusion, we will have Harden, we will have Poison Sting, and Gust. So we have some def defensive move and three uh, offensive moves. Megan's now level 9, which is awesome. Zul is now level 9. Thank you, Experience Share. So, if you didn't notice, Experience Share can help you level your team up real quick. So, so I lost. Seems that I still have much more to learn. We got a buttload of money, which is nice. I understand. The Pokemon League's rules state that trainers receive this if they defeat a gym leader. Please accept the official Pokemon League Stone Badge. And there's our Stone Badge in all of its majesty. The Stone Badge enables Pokemon to use the HM move Cut outside of battle. All Pokemon up to level 20, even those you got in trades, will also obey you. Interesting and important point. If you try and train up too far before you hit up a gym, for example this gym, and your Pokemon exceed level 20, um, then they might not listen to you in battle. Especially ones in trades, even if they're below 20, will not listen to you as much in battle. So getting the first gym, gym badge is going to be helpful. 
And please take this with you too. Gives us a uh, rock tomb, which is nice. The move Rock Tomb not only inflicts damage by dropping rocks, it also lowers the target's speed. If you use a TM, it instantly teaches the move to a Pokemon, and you can use a TM as many times as you want, so please try it out. Alright, cool. So, this gym, if this is a gym you were worried about, um, and you haven't started your game yet, um, Mudkip, like we chose, or Trico are going to be your best bets. Uh, Torchix is going to be a little bit harder to use in this gym. But we're going to go ahead and head on out. And what I'm going to do is, um, let's see, um, I'm going to start ending up ending this video. And what we're going to do is we will, uh, um, what's it called? I will record another video later tonight. Hopefully I can get the, the two that I've done today up as soon as possible. And then, yeah, then we're going to, um, yeah, meet each other later. And I, uh, I'm happy to have you guys as subscribers. Thanks for watching. Uh, please comment below and talk about the things that you are uh, wanting to see. Names of Pokemon that we, future Pokemon that we catch that you want me to use. Uh, things like that. And so. Uh, we're gonna talk through this last um, mini cutscene that's going on here, and then we'll end the video. And then what we'll do is we're going to, um, yeah, we'll cut it off. So don't forget to comment below. And so yeah, out of the way, move it. There's that Devon guy. Wait, please, don't take those parts. So we are meant to follow him. So that's the next thing. So our next video is going to be following him and, and helping him out. Um, helping the Devon Researcher. So like I said, comment below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed before. Share with your friends. Um, leave nice comments. And uh, thanks for watching. This is Hooray for Yoshi signing out. Um, don't forget to uh, even comment your favorite Yoshi. Uh, comment your favorite color Yoshi and love your Yoshis. So thanks a lot guys and we will talk to you later. So have a Yoshi day.